key moments in your parenting a warm welcome and today i'm going to be introducing all to key moment model and this key moment model will ensure that our communication and interaction with our children are helpful and not harmful our communication and interaction with our children should be able to strengthen them and not to weaken them once you understand and start applying the key moment model you will begin to make a new and better choice and learn to interact with your own children in ways with a different creative and ways which are helpful and which strengthen your relationship in the long run so see normally we have a lot of interactions and communications happening with our children on a day to day basis these interactions are normal and very obvious in nature however some interactions that we have with our children are more significant because because they have the potential to teach our children something i call these moments key moments a key moment is a challenge in front of us it is a moment which can be potentially upsetting for us and demands a response from us we cannot respond to a key moment we have to be very conscious and um, do so do we need to react at these moments key moments without giving much thought let me give you some examples of key moments to help you understand this better so here are the example example 1 that is example a um, third grader announces to come back home and uh, like it refuses to turn off the while coming coming back home the child is again watching tv and refuses to switch on the tv okay now another key moment where your children have started yelling and answering you back rudely another key moment could be you be your children they refuse to spend time with you and they want to be with mobile now you must have understood that what i'm meaning is not you cannot respond to the key moment a key moment is a challenging moment for you where you have to understand that there is an opportunity to teach he teach the child something during that moment because key moments normally they are not normal and they are little upsetting they are little demanding and i have already told you in previous sessions also that because our children they learn lessons depending on how we respond to them we need to learn positive ways and different techniques how to respond you know we have these key moments every day some are minor we are able to handle easily but some are very really big ones big moments and here's these key moments may trigger negative thoughts like this kid is never listens to me he is so lazy like we come to our labels which trigger us so these key moments you have to see that negative thoughts lead to negative emotions like worry anxiety sometimes frustration anger and sadness also so prevent this we must understand that the use of this model and i will be sharing the diagram also for this to explain you today this is just acquainting you to the key moment which you are familiarized and next i will be explaining you what in detail apart from the diagram what the key model is but i hope you got a fair idea about incidences where you are having that key model period interaction with your child